White labeling is when you remove all the branding of one product in place of another. For WordPress, an example would be decorating your login pages and dashboard with your own logo, company name, and media. You will still be using WordPress and gaining all its power and utility, but it won't appear as default WordPress to your users. You have a few options when it comes to white labeling WordPress. You can manually alter the PHP files in your WordPress installation, inserting code into places where your site needs a new identity. A number of plugins exist too, to give you a massive amount of white label customization and freedom. We're gonna walk you through the code required to manually white label your site, show you how to use the Branda plugin, and guide you to some of the other top plugins out there so you have a solid idea of what options you have to choose from. Let's get started. Manually white labeling WordPress is actually pretty simple. All you're doing is editing your installations functions.php file. You can control specifically what you want to change and you do so without the extra bloat from plugin code that may or may not apply to your situation. Friendly reminder, altering anything in the WordPress file system can be dangerous if not done correctly. We highly recommend that you use a child theme to make these changes because any changes that you make to the functions.php file will be overwritten when your theme updates. Therefore, we suggest and urge as strongly as we can that you follow our guide on creating child themes, which will be linked down below in the video description. Editing your functions.php file is very easy and you have multiple options to choose from to do so, including a code editor along with an FTP program or your cPanels file manager or a WordPress plugin like WP File Manager. Regardless of the method you choose to edit the file, you 100% want to create a backup of both your site and the file itself to prevent any catastrophic loss of data. With that said, you can find your functions.php file in your WP content slash theme folder. The perfect spot to start white labeling your site is the WP login page. This right here is the code you'll want to use. All the code snippets we will be sharing can be found in the blog post linked in the description so you can easily copy and paste everything we show. Now, any specific instructions you need are included as comments within the code block itself. And you should also note that any customization regarding URLs and custom text needs to be changed from our placeholders here. Now, back to the login page, you may need to redirect after a user clicks on the logo itself. And if so, you'll want to add this code to do that. And because accessibility is so important, you will also want some hover title text for the image. And here's how to do that. Moving on to the admin area, there are a few changes you can make. You know that little greeting in the top right hand corner of your WordPress admin that says howdy? Well, now you can make it say whatever you want using this snippet. If you need to change the default WordPress logo to a small image of your own, you just have to use this snippet. Since you're doing so much work on your site, you want users to know how to contact you. So we've got some code you'll want to use for that. And there you go. Simply upload your edited file back to your server and you're good to go. However, if you're more comfortable with using a plugin, we have some options for you too. Using a plugin for white labeling is extremely easy. And for this demo, we'll be using Branda, formerly known as Ultimate Branding. Once installed, you'll see everything that you could possibly customize and white label on your site. Most of them are pretty straightforward and they even include an import and export tool to make your life easier. For our example, we're gonna show you how to white label the admin bar. Click the pencil option next to the admin bar text. On this page called the admin area, you'll see a bunch of the other things that could be white labeled. We're going to change the WP logo to a custom one and it's incredibly small, so make sure if you do this, your image is optimized, both in file size and resolution for the space. The next option is the toolbar visibility section, and this just gives you control over who actually sees the admin bar on the front end. Adding a custom menu item is as simple as clicking the add custom item button and following the steps to add your desired link, which includes choosing the icon, where it opens, visibility, and all that fun stuff. Once you save, it'll appear at the top of the screen. And finally, there is custom CSS, which is exactly what you expect. CSS code that only applies to the admin bar. And that's it. Branda follows these same steps for all of the different white labeling options available. So we highly recommend that you check it out because you can add logos, custom CSS, backgrounds, and so on to any part of WordPress that you'd like. 
And as you can see with this particular example, it's easy and quick. If you're not into Branda, that's okay. Let's quickly check out five other options. Number one, white label CMS. Number two, absolutely glamorous custom admin. Number three, white label branding. Number four, admin menu editor. Number five, Cusman. If you want more information about any of these regarding features, pricing, and stuff like that, check out the blog post linked in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.